Okay, before I start today's Retro Bat Pico 8 Fantasy Console setup guides, just make sure to hit notification, subscribe, and like if you like today's video. It helps my channel out a great deal, plus it gets you upstate retro emulation content as I release it, which is pretty much every day. So we're looking at Pico 8 Fantasy Console today, and if you're unaware of this system, it's pretty damn cool for indie developers to develop almost 8-bit games, hence why it's called Pico 8 8-bit. So we're going to go to the retro bat shortcut, open file location, and we're going to go into bat GUI. And once bat GUI is opened, we're going to go into system list. And at the top, we're going to drop down system. And let me remind you, if you don't see this, just follow my fully comprehensive setup guide for the latest release of retro bat. So from here, we're going to just scroll down and we're going to find Pico 8. So our extensions for this is .png, which is very odd because that's actually an image file, uh, just like JPEG, but .png. We got .pa and also .exe. Now we got a RetroWatch core, but I can't get this working, but I got a fix around this and we're gonna go through this as we carry on. So that's the extensions we need. And what we're going to do then is I'm going to leave the link in my description for this website. This is itch.io. And what I've done is downloaded the file just here. And this is a free package with a cartridge launcher in it as well. So if we just download this and always support developers writing indie games using systems such as Pico 8 just to encourage them. Uh, I'm going to go to no thanks just to take me to the downloads. And I'm going to download the windows.zip pack just here. That's going to download. And once you've downloaded that, you're going to end up with a zip folder. If you open up the zip folder, as I say, we got a whole pack of free games in here. And we've also got a launcher, which is pemza.exe. So what I'm going to do first is just make a copy of everything in here. So we got the games and we got the cartridge launcher. And just copy this and I'm going to go into the retro bat directory again. So right click on the shortcut, open file location. First thing I'm going to do is just head into the ROMs folder and then look for Pico 8. And there it is. So what I'm going to do is just paste everything into this folder for now. But there's a couple of files that we don't need in here. They go elsewhere and that's the sdl 2double ll file as well as the PEMSA. So just highlight both of these. And I'm going to just drag those onto my desktop for now so they're not in the ROMs folder. And if we go into the emulators folder in RetroBat, again, we're going to look for Pico 8. And here it is. So I'm going to drag PEMSA.exe plus that .dll file inside of Pico 8. Now what I'm going to do next is right click on PEMSA.exe and I'm going to rename this. So show more options, rename. And instead of PEMSA, we want to rename this as Pico 8. And the reason that is because once we're inside a retro bat, it's going to be looking for a standalone emulator called Pico 8. And with the original name of this, it doesn't establish a connection, so it's not reading it. And this is something which I've just thought of myself and it actually works. So what we're going to do next is open up RetroBat. We've got those three games in our Pico 8 ROMs folder and we've now renamed this as Pico 8. So let's actually just double left click on this one. More info and run. As you can see, that's working just fine. So I'm going to open up RetroBat now. And we're going to find Pico 8 up here. And here's all our games, which we just downloaded. Uh, whether or not you want to download some artwork for these, I'd imagine there's a fair few which aren't going to scrape. So anyways, if you want to attempt this, main menu, scraper, and just go to scrape now. So 
So while this is scraping, I'm actually going to attempt to open up one of these games again. So advanced system options, emulator, and if we put this one onto auto, it's obviously going to be picking up the retro watch core, which is retro eight. But if I open it up this way with something like Celeste, end up with a blank screen and as we can see that scraping is now scraping some of the artwork which is pretty cool so we're going to just wait a bit longer for this to happen And scrape and finish, update game list, so main menu, game settings, update game list, and yes. So obviously you can go online and like I say, most of these games are fan-made games, but there are some actually quality games within Pico 8 which people are creating. Uh, Dank Tomb, for example, this one just here was pretty cool. And Celeste is obviously a good game, Dust Child wasn't too bad. But anyways, what I'm going to do then to actually run these games and utilize that file that I just renamed is go to View Options, Advanced System Options. And once you've renamed that file to Pico8.exe, make sure to pick Pico8. Now you're just left with video settings here. Uh, so you've got force full screen, so we can try that. Uh, most Pico8 games, they're very small in ratio. And video modes, uh, not going to bother with that. So first of all, let's open up Celeste. For the life of me, I can't work out how to get up on that ledge just there. So let's check out some other ones. Dank Tomb was another game which I just mentioned, which seemed pretty cool. I think you get the idea with that one. Uh, other games we got here is Fuzz, and I believe the original of this game is called Fez. Yeah, I'll give up with that one as well. So what else have we got? Gar's Den, get out of the dungeon. Thank you. 
Yeah, pretty cool game that one. I am going to lastly try Little Architect. That's it for my Retro Bat Pico 8 Fantasy Console Setup Guide today. If you like what you see, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss any upcoming Retro Bat and other retro emulation content I upload every day on my channel, Just Jamie. Also feel free to follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.